Well, education and technology go hand in hand, from calculators to computers, now to autocorrect. And there's always something adapting and needed as new technology emerges. KTAB's Ashley Barr now telling us how students are using artificial intelligence to expand their education. Artificial intelligence is taking the technology world by storm. I've, I've messed around with it. I've, I've asked questions. I've like had some conversations as well. Helping students with pretty much anything. I've seen people using it for projects, like assignments. I've seen people using it for quizzes. It's able to enhance their academic performance and creative endeavors. It's so easy to use. That last line was written by AI. AI gathers and sorts information on the internet, so students don't have to spend hours reading books and researching. Director of Composition at Abilene Christian University, Dr. Debbie Williams, says she noticed her own students using it. We realize that because the writing is uh, suddenly repetitive, it sounds robotic. Embracing the technology by teaching students how to use it the right way. Any information you use from any source, whether it's human or artificial intelligence, you say what you use what you got, from where, and so you would cite it. Encouraging educators to set guidelines and limitations on its use in the classroom. It's incumbent on us as teachers at every level to mention it, uh, teach it, have policies for it. Jackson Calloway says AI is useful, but it bypasses our social nature as humans. Instead of going to a friend or a counselor, using chat GPT can kind of be different and not provide the one-on-one -on -one experience that you need with a person. Just as a computer disrupted education and reshaped policy, this new technology will go through those same questions. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Ashley Ivara, KTAB News. Thank you, Ashley. A new college course is now being offered down in Austin with ethics being a primary focus for that artificial intelligence course and degree. Dr. Williams saying though that last spring she taught the chat GPT and artificial intelligence in her English classes and sharing she'll do the same again this fall to give students better skills and knowledge of the new technology and how to use it.